Here's some archaeology for you. Hylix is supposed to be like the Greek somatics, which is all about material and the body and such. The Gnostics thought it was the lowest form of human being. So welcome to the lowest form of human being. Previously, we got our final friend. I guess you could call him that. It's the Dread Knight Pongorma. And now we're in a graveyard. It was right next door to him. Well, next island over. And we're currently doing this ladder puzzle thing. A few places to go yet. Also, we need to die again, and Pongorma makes that less possible. Because there's no ambulance skulls anymore. I think it's this one. No, it's not that one. We battled many a ghost. We learned how to dark flame. We got dynamite. From ghosts and other things. And we blew up people with it. Really good. Where the heck is that ladder at? Gotta be around here somewhere. I think I saw one that's over here. That's not a ladder. There we go. Someone buried a ladder. We have to do those doohickey things. How, how about you come over here? It doesn't count until he touches Wayne. And there's one over there, too. And I think there's one to the far right. Ah, come down here, meat zombie. Come over here. I don't want to fight meat zombie, I just want meat zombie out of the way. This is probably a bad idea. I'm trying to get him stuck. And it didn't work. We've seen this one before. Also, someone said that this background makes him a little bit ill. It like sets off motion sickness. That's some really acute motion sickness. But I'll leave him to it. Hopefully Hylix 2 is a little bit better for you. I remember the backgrounds being a little different in that game. That's what we'll be covering next. Did a small and you're terrible at snapping. Luckily, you're really good at healing. He has so much will. <laughs> nice. We're gonna be seeing that until we find some more meat. Uh, there it is, meat appliques. Muscle appliques. Let's get him out of the meme number. There we go. Now he's 71. Haven't found any insects in a while, and that ghost reset. Get away from the ghost. I don't think there's any ladders here. Also, ghosts are stopped by walls somehow, even though that shouldn't work for ghosts. It works for ghosts anyway. I know there's a ladder around here. Actually... Actually, I didn't even see that ghost! I mean, I might as well leave the battles in. They don't, uh... They don't especially too egregious. The next game, the battles get a little bit more... involved. The enemies actually chase you better. Y you'll see it. You'll see it and you'll understand. Just right now, these battles aren't too bad. Until they start abating everything. I think he's confused. He even evades his own confusion attack. Come on, somebody hit him that's worth a darn. Anybody! Seriously? You're not gonna kill Wayne like that, are you? You're not gonna do Wayne the old spicy ghost. He's died of snapping already. You gave Wayne the spicy ghost! How dare you! The ghost is dead. Don't think too much into that. Now oh, we got dynamite. We can throw dynamite around like crazy. Wayne is dead, but also not dead. We can bring him back with a warm burrito. Alright, back to ladders. We're playing ghosts and ladders. There's a ladder. And a meat zombie. Of course there's a meat zombie. There's always a meat zombie. He was easy to avoid, though. Ah, garbage! There was garbage in the garbage! There's not supposed to be garbage in the garbage. 
There's supposed to be burgers in the garbage. There's no hamburgers in this game. Actually, I think I already got this one down here, so... There's a ladder just to the right of the one we were just at. Like, around here. One of these is it. One of these was not it. Ghost! I'm learning to hate ghosts. This is phantasmophobia. You know, that's more fear of ghosts than hatred of ghosts, isn't it? I guess it kind of counts. No ladders there. Where can a ladder be? If I was a ladder, where would I hide in a gravestone? There we go. Finally! The last one, I hope. I'm pretty sure. We have to head to this ladder? No, not that ladder. This ladder over here. The device is going crazy now! That means, hey, click on it. That sounded good. That sounded like moving forward. There used to be a giant blue door here. Now we could enter the crypt. Oh, there's cultists down here too, but at least they're not ghosts. The ghosts are annoying. Also, who is this fellow? This is how they get buried. Well, actually, first they grow old and, you know, ginormous, and then they die. I'm guessing. He kind of looks like a Wayne. A demon skull! That's some good armor. He kind of needs it. Everybody else is wearing demon skulls. I mean, he might as well fit in. Well, except for him, he's wearing bleak cellophane. And Wayne doesn't have a skull. He needs to get with the times. Alright, we're just gonna avoid this dude. I'll be able to see them in battles later anyway. I mean, look at them all. Hey, that guy looks friendly. Look at him smile. Hey, that's a 90s song. Uh, okay. He, he became slime. He went inside his homunculus. Good for him. Now that we have a full team, we could actually start using these, too. And get some will back. And actually get more will. We're gonna need it. I think the final paper cup is in this area somewhere. Which means we only have to find the, the water coolers. Also, there's vegetables in our way. Yeah, I'll just heal him up real quick. And collect the duck blade! Ah, I prefer the goose blade. But it has a small chance of lowering mightiness. Duck blade and fork. Fork and knife. What is what is Dennis Wong using? Oh, parasite crystal, never mind. Pun Gorma and Samsonosa are kinda set for the entire game with their equipment. Except for, you know, body armors and such. You can't avoid this dude, you have to fight him. The Tomb Shrub! The good thing to do off the bat is get him poisoned. Top everybody off, because we need the will. Oh, we have the juice pack here. We'll use that instead. All the juice! All the time! Now we're topped off. This guy has deceptively high health. And he's able to de-mighty and stun people. That doesn't count as a status effect either. I think stun does, so not de-mighty. Everybody was stunned but Wayne. Yeah, it, it, it de-stuns. Oh no, Wayne, what happened? Wayne, you got murdered! Again! Well, Dedesmond might as well do his job of healing everybody. Also, this guy spawns sub-shrubs, which isn't good. We'll wait till he spawns more of them before we start nuking. And I'll toss Wayne a worm burrito. This boss is going to continuously make sub-shrubs, and then attack us with bio-waves. He could double attack, too. The power of healing! 
We acquired it last time. But this guy can do a lot of damage. We don't have many flesh points. More space shurikens. Luckily, people are protected from stun, so Dennis won't could do his job. Space shurikens are cheap, and they do a lot of damage. And let's poison things. 168 damage. Poison. That'll poison everything. Everything that isn't poisoned already, anyway. See, it's smart to make Dennis Moon the healer. Keeps everybody topped off. This thing really likes to use that bio wave. Also, we're in danger of getting murdered by the sub shrubs now. Yeah, that's exactly what's happening. Did you see how much damage that poison did? Dennis Moan. Pick up Wayne. It's time to nuke these things. Not enough damage! We need more damage! Don't buy a wave again. Really? Leave Wayne alone! This guy's abusing biowaves. I can't believe it. I really don't want to die here. I didn't find a crystal yet. Uh, I was about to say, you know what? I'm going to use dynamite, but I just realized some Snosa is stunned. We got to throw the dynamite. It's our only way. I know it's against the Geneva Convention, but it has to happen. Stop it. There's too many of them. They all need to go. Ah, some Snosa can't do anything now. But maybe we could pick up Wayne after we stun them. Oh, right, Sam's Nosa is also demightied, so that's why she did less damage with that Dark Flame. Well, that takes care of most of them, anyway. Did not stun. Did not kill. And now it's Dedesmon, all alone, and he has no mightiness. He has, like, very little mightiness. Maybe a panorama will work. It did! Dennis Mullen, I think you might have MVP'd. I was about to MVP my pants if I could wear any. Von Gorm was first on the list. He has more will than everybody else. He can help with the hell chanting. How do you use the hell chanting? They go health. Health! Man, this boss is a piece of work. Also, we never increased our flesh points this entire game, and we're starting to feel it. These enemies are starting to do a lot of damage to us. Speaking of damage, I think the sub shrubs have it handled. Good thing I got so many warm burritos. So many. And we're finally cleaning up. Everybody's back to the living. Everybody has will. Everybody's d unmightied Double negatives. And tiny of vegetables, of course. You just fought shrubs. No wonder the Knights of Me wanted shrubberies. Look at Wayne. Look at Wayne. Wayne has terrible flesh points. That's awful. All he has is a torso shell. You need to work on this. Don't need to fight that guy. I want to find a crystal before we get murdered again. Now we're here. This takes us deeper into the ruins. There's a crystal around here, yeah. Also regular folks. Well, I mean... Relatively speaking, anyway, his mountain is platinum. The Hall of Deadly Statues. We're in past what? I wonder why they call it the Hall of Deadly Statues for. Oh, that's why! That's a deadly statue! It wants to kill you! And it's much faster than an ambulance skull. And it's better at seeking you. Don't get caught on the terrain or it will kill you wide open. And no, Pangorma cannot counter those guys. 
I'm going over here. There's a paper cup, but there's also death. You guys want to be deadly over here? I, I want to kind of get you caught on things. Oh, this is bad. Uh, this is real bad. Terrible, even. Get away from the deadly skulls! The, the, there might be an ambulance skull in there. Maybe that's where the ambulance skulls come from. That was lame. It was only meat. I mean, if you thought that one was bad... More death! Come on down here. Come and meet your friends. Yeah, those guys there. Have a party. Ah, everyone wants to kill me here! Hey! It's another one of these dudes. The Sage of Death! Oh no, the Sage of Death! The only way out of here is death! I like Dark Seed too, it's so campy and stupid. You guys really need to see a Retro Praise video on Dark Seed 2. It's a very long and strange trip. No, it isn't. It's the death. You're the sage of death. You're not supposed to enjoy life. And we're going way off the grid. You can't find us here. We're way out of bounds. We're speedrunning this one. Two muscle appliques. You'll be wishing for these back. But luckily when we leave, we don't get killed by, uh... I only only get killed by one of them, actually. Speaking of which, I should die. Because I need to go somewhere, don't I? Oh, hey, you. Do you want to crush me? Thank you. Thanks for killing me! I needed that. It's so refreshing. I really wanted to come back here. It's our third death. We can now go to the executive balcony. Good job! You died so many times! See, most people only get one death in. They're lame. We got ourselves a bestial axe. About as strong as the fork. I like combining it with the duck blade. Mainly because I can give Dedis the fork, since it has a will increase. So he's still kind of the will guy, but now he has some mightiness to him. Okay, thanks for interjecting that in our conversation, Mr. Slime Person. Maybe that's the guy from before, but he got killed by one of those... statues. We got another will. Let's see, we got one in Dedis tent, we just got one... in the tombs. We got one here. There's three more of them. One is a place we haven't been to yet. The other one is a warp. And... I forget where the other one is, but we'll find it eventually. I don't even know why I did this. And I keep on calling it the Mars Volta couch, but that's kind of an insult to the Mars Volta. I think it's Vogon poetry. Fruit, I implore thee! I forget the rest of the poetry because it's stupid. Ah, uh, and hoopishly drangle me with footing turling drones, or I will render thee in the gobberworts with my blurgle crunch and see if I don't. That was also the meat grinder. I did not heal. But that's what vegetables are for, aren't they? We got so much flesh now. We got tons of flesh. We are beefy beyond belief. Not beefy enough to go and fight these statues, though. We can't fight the statues. The statues are death every single time, and you don't want it. This is a good place to die if you forgot to die for the VIP area, though. Uh, uh, the end of another act, Dracula? Okay. Nice place you got here. I see you have cat. No, we don't want chemicals inside the ocean, do we? No, we will not. We will never pardon the incomplete engine. How dare it not be complete? Gibby's doing things in the Lunar Fortress. He's sustaining, totally. Well, we're gonna get in his apparel. 
We're gonna mix it up in his underpants. Welcome to Act 3. I guess you didn't want to help in Act 3. Surprisingly, that actually counts towards some Snosa's insect kill. So we helped her out a little bit with Dracula. I guess he is used to it. He's useful for some things. F all couches. F everything in this room. We're gonna bend it, we're gonna twist it, we're gonna stretch it. I could have sworn he could do something with the letters, too. Oh well, Act 3 engage. Huh, this thing's moving now. Uh, yeah, we got an airship now. I guess that's what the, the Vogon poetry was trying to tell us. Hey, you have an airship now? You can go do some cool stuff. It's 20 minutes. We do have all the Sages tokens. We're gonna kind of take a ride on our boat for a little bit. There's one island we haven't been to by boat. It's right over here. TV Island. We're gonna catch the ultimate TV. Even though that ultimate TV is not working at the moment. Now, we were kind of told that the Sage tokens are important for something. These are right here. I'm pretty sure there's a character in the game that'll tell you about it more. But we need to insert Sage tokens to get the TV working. Hey, we fixed the antenna! I wonder what channel it's tuned to. Oh, that looks funky. It's the Legend of Melting! Now, from Nintendrill! That's the ultimate magic. The ultimate gesture. The Legend of Melting costs 200. Luckily, we have enough wheel for that now. It randomly strikes three times and can stun people. Really good for taking on bosses. Wish we had it for that uh, shrub dude. But Bode is now useless to us. We could go anywhere. We could go to Samsonosa's house, like, immediately. We could go get bubbles. We could do things to ambulance skulls. Speaking of ambulance skulls and water coolers, there's one here in the warp, isn't there? The one place we haven't been to in the warp. Might as well get it out of the way. Especially since I did a lot of murdering in here and got dynamite. We're too powerful for these things now. We should insta-win. Also, this dude. Oh, I, I, I thought he was talkable. Alright, you know what? Let's try out the Legend of Melting. Take this! We melted you! Get melted upon! Oh, hey, our, um... We're getting counterattacked. Everybody got counterattacked. Stop counterattacking! We have so much flesh, doesn't hurt us anymore. Darn it! This is what we call in the business as bad RNG. Oh, that was the legend of melting. We melted them. And then he melted his bones. There's the ambulance skulls. They weren't even guarding the paper cup machine. Even more will! Yay! This is what we could do to skulls now. Goodbye. We banished them to the underworld. Uh, uh, oh, darn. I hate when that happens. At least we got 300 bucks out of the deal. And a muscle applique. Gotta make sure we use all of those. Become even mightier. There we go. One for each of you. So we got that one out of the way now. Ah, uh, where else is uh one of those things? I'll have to take a look later. We could go and get detonate, maybe. Oh hey, we have actually have a world boss we could go kill. You know what? I'll save that for the next video. We have to go to the recolored world and kill that giant purple thing, the pink thing, that's hanging out with the insects. 
I'm sure it has some kind of ultimate weapon we could use. We don't really need to pick up anything in town. I do have squirrel food. I got it for 2,000 bucks. Here you go, squirrel. You owe us now. Get in our head. It's the head squirrel. It's basically ribbon. Yeah, Wayne gets the loyal head squirrel. Enjoy. And everybody else has demon skulls. They're the demon skull club. And we'll harvest our vegetables. Because they have been so useful. Even when we have health gen. You saw it helped us out earlier. When it didn't. Haven't fed the horse yet, though. So, next time on Hylix, we have an airship! Somehow! And now we can go anywhere with it. So we have so many other things to check out. We got that place up there, this place over here that has a summoning station. This giant ominous tower. This thing down here. There's some kind of weird lonely island out here too. Somewhere. Also notice that the airship has its own music. And we can just land on this thing for no good reason. But we have so much to explore! Good night, folks.